Hey guys, we're gonna talk about the Star Wars Rebels episode called Imperial Super Commandos. Uh, full spoilers to follow, so if you haven't seen that episode, that's your warning. All right, let's go. Uh, I wanna focus here on the Imperial Super Commandos. They're right in the title. Uh, very cool inclusion here. I mean, the thing is, is it was a great way to bring in Star Wars history, both off screen and on. Uh, if you know your history, you know that Boba Fett started out as conceptually possibly gonna be the Imperial Super Commando concept, and some of the art of him that evolved into the Boba Fett we know and love uh, started out as this all white look and looked very much like the Imperial Super Commandos we met in this episode. So that was cool if you knew the Ralph McQuarrie art and all that, but then it worked really well to be the idea of, uh, just the idea of Mandalorians that have joined the Empire. Those are two cool elements that are cool together. Uh, so there was a lot of sort of uh, uh, fan pleasing things going on here to see that happen. And I also loved how it's tying into the Clone Wars. Again, we're getting more about Sabine, her history, uh, the fact that you know she is part of Clan Vistla, and then this big mention of her mother and her mother working with the Imperial Super Commandos and she thinks that she's being forced into it. Gar Saxon is implying otherwise, we'll find out. As to who her mother is, I don't think that's a big secret. I think if you know the Clone Wars, you can probably guess who, what Mandalorian might it be. Uh, there's only one female, it could be, unless they introduce someone new, but I don't think they're going to. But I'm excited to see that character pop up. And in the meantime, we got uh, this fun uh, Rome reunion. Uh, again, an off-screen element, but the fact that Kevin McKidd and Ray Stevenson were voicing these uh, rivals was really great. And I thought that uh, Fre uh, Fen Rao, uh, I hope I pronounced his name right, joining the Rebels by the end was it was a very well-earned moment. Yes, he got his Han Solo, I can't go through with leaving, turning around to save the day moment, but it felt earned even just over the two episodes we saw him because he'd been already the sort of respectful enemy, you know, someone who we understood where he was coming from, even beginning the episode with him and Sabine playing that chess-like game. I'm sure the Super Star Wars fan, even more than me, knows what it's called. But playing that game uh, established the idea that these two, uh, they're, they're, they're approaching things from a similar way and that they could work together. So it was great to see that happen by the end. So really dug this episode and all uh, that it did to involve the Mandalorians and their sort of history. What did you think? Uh, let us know in the comments. You can also read my full review of Imperial Super Commandos at IGN.com. And for all things Star Wars and Star Wars Rebels and Mandalorians, keep it here at IGN.